Welcome everyone to Take the Lead. I am your host, William Plisky. And I am John O'Halloran. Folks at home, folks at home. So John. Will. What was the biggest story this week? Let's see. Let me think. <laughs> Final seconds here in this NBA season. The respect from those two. And that's it. It's over. This historic 2020 NBA championship belongs to the Los Angeles Lakers. The Lakers. Lakers win the NBA championship. Well deserved with the passing of Kobe this year. Yep. However, I saw you do the one, two, three, four for LeBron. You're right. He finally brought his winning percentage in the finals up to 40%. <laughs> and they're going to go back to back, baby. Eh, maybe, probably, yeah. He's going to finish with 6-6-6. Six, six, six. six wins, six losses, six ties. No, six wins, six losses, and six finals MVPs, baby. Six, six, six. That's only 50%. That's a failing grade. Yeah, I'll take it. What if he becomes four, eight, and four? I don't know how many finals MVPs he has. Four. Oh, he won it every time. Yep. Fun, fun. And you, you said you had other basketball stuff. Yes. Um... I didn't really watch the finals this year. I, I'd seen. I probably watched the last minute. I just wanted to see LeBron celebrate. And it was just weird seeing no fans. Yeah, it annoyed me when LeBron walked off the court early that one game. Yeah, I know. I didn't like that. Way to quit on your team. It's different with football when every single person runs onto the field. Yeah, LeBron's just like, Psh, I'm out. Want to know why? Wah, 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 wah. How was that? That was the first time I've ever done that. That was on pretty podcast. good. It was pretty good. Thank you. <laughs> You're probably waiting to do that. You're preparing for. You probably had that all freaking written down <laughs> I too. I didn't. I swear. Oh, you didn't. But um, <laughs> ready for this one? This one wasn't planned either. <laughs> big baby Davis, more like big baby James. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, what else do you have? Um, he preparing to go all in pursuit for Giannis in twenty twenty one free agency. Ooh. Um, rival teams are uh, monitoring. Uh, well, this is, I'll talk about Bama Bio, uh, Bama Bio situation, and if um, in Miami, uh, extending their superstar big man and preparing to go all in to pursue of Milwaukee's two time MVP Giannis on twenty twenty one free agency. Did you even try to say his last name or did Giannis you skip I, over? I, Ante Katumpo. Ante Tukumbo. Ante Katumpo. It's close enough. Yeah, it is close enough. Uh, there is a. I, I was wasn't sure if I actually said it or. Yeah, I'm not even trying it. it. <laughs> there is a school of thought about that the salary wise waiting on uh, Bam Bio's distinction would allow for such space possible. Um, if they can add him, they're the favorites. Oh, a thousand percent. Especially no. if they keep Butler. Jimmy Butler. Um, Giannis. Tyler Hero. Tyler Hero. Okay, maybe they're not really the favorites then. I mean, that's a pretty solid three right there. Yeah. Especially with Tyler Hero only being 20. He's only 20. He's going to get better. Only better. I'm not just saying that you're going to try to keep uh, Bama Bio too. That'd be insane. Yeah, it would. I don't know, but if they can bring him in, then... um. Him and Jimmy Butler, <laughs> jeez, it's a solid one-two punch. But I still think literally a punch in the face to all opponents, including LeBron. Le- LeBron, big baby James. You better watch yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you gonna come defend him? No. <laughs> uh, speaking about the Lakers, Jerry Dugley says the Lakers were laughing after the Clippers blew a three-one lead to the um, to the Nuggets. Um, he was interviewed by Ryan Rasulo. Uh, he said, what was the reaction? Uh, what were you guys saying to each other when you saw the Clippers blow a 3-1 lead? Uh, Jared Dugley said, we were laughing. We were laughing in the sense like, I can't believe it. I picked him to win game seven versus the Nuggets. There was mm-hmm. no way I thought they were going to lose. Our, our whole mind was, we got to beat the Clippers. We want the Clippers. They wanted us. It was a trash talking that happened. Pat Bev check ball during the pandemic playoff. P talking about how he, uh, how he the best. Him and Kawhi, Kawhi the uh, commercials in the crown. Uh, we're seeing all these billboards up here when we're uh, going to practice every day. There's uh, 
the uh, Kauai billboard. We see the billboard every single day. Uh, then he said, uh, the world wants it. Uh, the world's picking the Clippers. The Clippers are happy. Avery Bradley didn't show up to the bubble. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much they were laughing at the Clippers because the Clippers choked. Oh, the Clippers choked big time. Yeah, I died. Cool. Because I remember when you, I, and um, I think it was Brad last year in October. A long time ago. Did finals picks. You guys picked the Clippers and I picked the Rock. Finals weren't around that long ago. No, uh, last year in October when we. Oh, when You, Brad, and I, yeah. Oh, You two picked the Clippers. Right, yeah. My dumbass picked the Rockets and you guys laughed at me and I said, James Harden, you went to Webster for back together. <laughs> you guys well, like, okay. They're, they're missing one important piece. Kevin Durant. Yeah. He needed all three of them. No one else. Wanna why they can't why wanna why they wouldn't have anyone else on their team? Why? They wouldn't be able to afford it. <laughs> no. Get a bunch of minimum wage scrubs off the subway front lines. And I'm pretty sure the Rockets are one of the smallest teams in the NBA. Even though freaking six six is small considering the NBA nowadays. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> Everyone in the half the NBA is taller than both of us by a foot. <laughs> I was watching the game. Yeah, he's small for power forward. Six seven. I'm like six seven is a power forward. I was <laughs> six seven small. small. It's like I'm over here five foot nine. <laughs> Freaking nuts. Uh, Howard Howard Warriors interest, interested in uh, Dwight Howard. Uh, like expected uh, to resign him. I don't know how I would feel about. <sighs> He's ring chasing. If he goes to the uh, Warriors, I'm just kidding. He Who? already won it. Uh, Dwight Howard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you already won a ring, so it doesn't matter. Um, Obviously, Anthony Davis is going to opt out, re-sign. Um, plans to opt out of his $28.7 million, His player option re to the Lakers. I'm sure it's going to be a long contract. Uh, Davis plans to opt out with his player option re to the Lakers. Uh, Davis and his agent, Rich Paul, uh, will hold meetings in the coming weeks to discuss the situation with the contract with the Lakers. Uh, he signed a two-year uh, deal with the player option for his second season, three-year deal with the player option. It's p- quite obvious he's going to stay. I mean, I yeah. if he were to leave, there's obviously something wrong with him. That just, percent, yeah. just won an NBA championship. You're probably going to win at least one more, maybe. You would think, yeah. I think so. I think so as well. The NBA is targeting January 18th for a start of next season. We'll get That's pretty soon. Yeah, eight weeks uh, notice ahead of time. That's really soon to get the NBA draft, the free agency workouts, all that in. Yeah. Do you think they'll have a preseason? No. They should, but it's just... Maybe just it could, not even a couple games? Not even like just like two they games they could each play, or something? Uh, like over the course of the week, have every team play two, three games just in one week? Yeah. Or they could play preseason games on, I don't know, Christmas. I know one would go. It's a preseason game. I would say Christmas you could play a preseason game, but what the hell's going to go to a preseason game on Christmas? I mean, it would be Christmas. I mean, they might still be in a bubble at this point. True. So uh, it's so close. So the original, obviously, original date was December 1st, but that would only give players a month off, basically. Um, that's not happening, said Adam Silver. Uh, to begin next season, which will officially be the 2021 campaign, even though it will happen, it obviously, in uh, 2021, its effective date is January 18th. Martin Luther King Day is now the new target, according to John uh, Hollinger. So look for the NBA to be back January 18th. Mark it on your calendars, boys. Mark it down for LeBron's chase for five to ultimately land in second. Nope. Mm, five, baby. Not gonna on hold the it. spot <laughs> again. I'll scream. What? I'll scream. You're being mean. Do you know what I'm what I'm referring to when I say second, right? Yeah, to Michael Jordan. Yeah, I, I wanted to make sure it wasn't getting to the finals and then losing, which technically is also second. Fuck this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was that laugh? I, I love this right here. Kevin Durant says he didn't take easy rope by joining the Warriors. I earned yeah, my okay. rings in both o- finals. Okay. Okay, big boy. You, what'd they do before you joined them? They won 73 games. St- what? 
uh, Warriors. They won 73 games before he joined them, and yeah. they beat his team. Yep. Well, I mean, like, in regards to rings. They won two before he came? Yep. Oh, wait, did they win two? It was one or two before. One. They won one. Yeah. So, if that's not ring chasing, to go to a f- def- uh, two-year be- or two-year back defending champion, mm-hmm. then a team that won 73 games mm-hmm. in a season, ultimately losing to the fi- in the finals. Yep. But making it to the finals two years in a row, winning one of them, 73 games in the regular season, beating your team in the Western Co- fin- Western Conference Finals? Yes, they yeah, blew Western Conference lead. Finals. Blew, blowing the lead, and you join them, and that's not classified as ring chasing? What? <laughs> he said... Uh, it's not the easy road? He said... Uh, they asked if it was an easy road. He said, what does that even mean? I just never understood what that means. Because it means I- taking the easy yep. path. Ju- it's not just like the poem. Take the load that less traveled. And want to know what KD did? Took the home less tra- took the road <laughs> less traveled. He saw the opportunity for a championship, and he's like, "Hard work, join a fantabulous team." Yep. And he's like, "Well, there was seventy three games last year. Peace. See ya." He said, "Uh." What does that mean? I never understood uh, what that means because I still come to work every day. I go through every rep 100% speed. Yeah, That's but you have Steph Curry and Clay Thompson yeah. and Draymond Green on your team. And I played on elite, uh, elite level in the finals in the beginning, uh, the biggest moments, and I could understand if I didn't play well at all, but I played the best that I pl- could play in both finals for the team. Uh, so I felt like I got up every day and held myself to a championship elite player standard and reached it pretty much 90% of the time. Dude, come on. 90% of the time? 98%. Oh, uh, I thought he said 90. Like, where's, where's that, two, where's that 2%, bitch? Yeah. Yeah. Is Wh- what about LeBron? His 40%? Stop it. <laughs> 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 this episode is just me shitting on LeBron, even though he's, what, 2 billion times better than I'll ever be at pretty much anything in life? <laughs> Except in a podcast. Now nah, LeBron would start one and be like... <laughs> But um, yeah, I just I disagree with that. I mean, look look what LeBron did when yep. he was uh, got that big three together. He said the same thing. I didn't take the easy the easy path, but he did. You did. Celtics did it in a different way first. They traded. They traded. They, traded. they didn't have three people but come together. But like, oh yeah, let's all go to the same team. Well, what team? Uh, d- wait, do you want you want to stay at your team? Cool, we'll go there. <laughs> That's why I think during All Star Weekend, when a big free agent's coming up and he he's talking to cer- uh, two people from the same team, uh, that should be um I'm trying to think of that word collusion. Oh, that's not the right word, but I just like that word. So when the team talks to someone early and they get in trouble, interference. I can't remember the word, but whatever that word is, that's what it should be. You shouldn't be talking to someone. When's uh January? I think is All Star Weekend or February. <laughs> Usually, yeah. You shouldn't be talking to someone. Tampering. Tampering. That's it. That should be tampering. That's like if you should and I were in the yeah. NBA and you and I were two of the best players. I was on the uh, – trying to think of a team that's good. Let's pick a team that's bad. All right, the Phoenix next. Suns will join Devin Booker. Okay. That's like me and Devin Booker talking to you saying – You f- just excluded me. How no, dare you? No, it's, it's like me and Devin Booker talking to you and saying – Oh, I thought you were saying me and Devin Booker talking about joining. No, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, like Devin Booker and I come up to you and saying – Hey, you're on the Knicks. You're a free agent. You're 24 year. years old. You've been in the NBA since you're 19. You've ma- been uh, you're a six time All Star, but you only, you've you only been on a team with a winning record twice. <laughs> so come, come here. That's tampering. A thousand percent, or at least should be. But it's LeBron. It's it's, it's players like LeBron James and Kevin Durant. It's not going to happen. Yeah, because they're beaches. But the. I just wanted to end the NBA with that. I got nothing else. All right. Want to go to baseball? I don't know why I said it like that. Rays. Rays, Rays. What the hell are you doing? Rays and Braves. Up 3-0. Rays and Braves. Rays and Braves. They're both going to lose it. Up 3-0. Yeah. 3-1, I was like, okay, they'll close out in five. 3-2. And maybe six. They'll close out in six and... What happened last night? <laughs> then the Braves up 3-1. Oh, yes. Game 7 tonight and game 6 tonight. 
Who's winning game seven, Astros or Rays? I really hope it's the Rays. <laughs> Me too. They'll be the second team to come back from 3 0. I'm cool with the Dodgers coming back. They were my pick. <laughs> no, yeah. But. Who's coming back? F them Astros. So you're going with the Rays? Yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> you're going to go to the Astros? Yes. Oh, uh, did I save it? I don't know if I saved it. There was a funny tweet about the Astros I saw. Uh, there's 0% chance I, fa- I saved it. Uh, mention something baseball while I look. Um, yeah. They're the second team to come back from 3-0. Red Sox were the first team to do it, which was awesome back in 2004. One of the greatest moments of my life and my sports life because I never thought I was going to see it. What made it better was against the Yankees. So, Bobby, once again, I'm mentioning Bobby if you're watching. I just want to bring back a little memory. Um, where are you? Ah, trying. Don't want that. This is an ad. The fifth pennant for the Red Sox since that nineteen eighteen season. In three days, it will be uh, today is 17, so in three days, it will be 16 years, I think, it's since 2004, that the Red Sox have come back, uh, pulled that amazing comeback. But yeah. while Will's trying to find whatever he's looking for. Speaking this about is the, the last search, and if I don't see it, I'm going to give up. Oh, yep, here we go. Found it. I liked it. I could have just went in my likes, but I didn't think about it. That's okay. So, um, this guy only, oh, I, I was going to say only has this whatever number of followers, but he's got 18.6 thousand, which is solid. Mm-hmm. But uh, he tweeted, uh, Mike Mazzeo at Maz, M-A-Z-Z-N-Y-C. The Astros cheating to win the World Series and then baseball suspending none of their players and then expanding the playoffs so they can get in with a losing record and do it again seems very on point. That's why I walked in and I said to you, <laughs> I think sports can be scripted and rigged sometimes. 100% scripted. And you guys can deny me all you want. I, I, I'm i a big sports fan. I love sports, but there was times I think sports are scripted. Do you want to hear the top reply? Mm-hmm. Uh, we ain't cheating this year, man. Sorry to disappoint you, but we're an elite baseball team. Yeah, okay, buddy. And go then s- another person yourself. replied saying, we ain't cheating this year. And you pretend to convince us that your organization deserves mercy. Cheaters and charlatans, many good people have lost their jobs because of your team cheating immorals in the hall of shame. <laughs> <laughs> just, I, don't know, I just think, just the things that happen in sports, it, it's kind of, I don't know. It just kind of makes me question sometimes, like the Patriots coming back from 20 to 3. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's just Tom Brady being Tom Brady. Like a backup quarterback winning and beating Tom Brady in the I Super Bowl? Know. Come on. You can't script that Edelman catch, though. No. Zero percent chance you could script that. But I think there's certain things that just I question sometimes. Mm-hmm. But, man, I'm just crazy. Uh, we'll see what happens, though. The world is a crazy, crazy place. Yeah. Especially in sports. With the COVID and the Rona and the beer. And the Eagles being 1-3-1. One, and one. Your division is so trash. And we're not even get, we're not even there yet. Nope. Doesn't the, th- uh, the team in first have two wins? Yep, Cowboys are 2-3. and three. <laughs> And then you're 1-3-1. <laughs> and one. You know what? Let's look at it right now. Are we done with baseball? No. Um, Yankees manager Aaron Boone will be... Will, will we <laughs> will two we and tr- three, one, three, one, one and four, oh and five. It's just That's ridiculous. The, East. the Giants literally can... How many games are the Giants behind? Uh, two. <laughs> the Giants literally can somehow turn it around and still win the division at six and, six and ten. <gasps> All four teams have less points scored than points allowed. That's embarrassing. And believe it or not, 
Washington at one and four has a, oh actually no, the Giants at zero and five have allowed the least amount of points. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Change the subject. Winning percentages are 400, 300, 200, and zero. God damn. Um, <laughs> Yankees manager Aaron Boone will, <laughs> will return in 2021 despite ALDS exit. Um, oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on. I have a weird fun fact for you. Uh, did the Bills get blown out once this year? Like, absolutely. Yeah, they got absolutely murdered by the Titans. That makes sense. The Bills are 4-1 and one and have less points scored than points allowed. Really? Mm-hmm. They're four and one. They've scored 139, and they've allowed 142. There's your fun fact of the That's day. That's crazy. Yeah, I will see if anyone else has anything crazy like that. Uh, Aaron Boone will be back next year. That's just a fact. Steinbrenner said on Michael K's uh, ESPN radio show. This isn't exactly surprising, but hearing it from the uh, top of the Shane himself. Uh, same with the Raiders, three and two. They've allowed one more point than scored. Ooh, here's a good one for you. Uh. The AFC North, right, with the exception of the Bengals, are the exact opposite of the NFC East. What? Uh, Steelers four and zero, Ravens four and one, Browns four and one, and the Bengals one three one. Oh, I wonder who that tie was <laughs> against. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, the uh, Ravens are absolutely murdering their opponents score wise going to happen again this Sunday. They've almost doubled the point scored compared to allowed. I go ahead. Finish your story. Um, says Boone uh, has just completed his third season in Yankees manager over that span. He's got uh, t- I get to a record of uh, 236-148, including a th- uh, 33-27 mark this season. Um, his postseason record is 11-10. Pretty surprisingly keeping him. And um, pretty big news on Tyler uh, Sags' death. Former Angels employee Eric uh, Kane decked in the death of Tyler Sags. Um, where was I trying to find to read? Uh, Texas uh, grand jury inducted K on two counts. K was charged with giving Sags the uh, fan plea that resulted in his death in 2019. Sags, 27, died in July 2019. The local medical examiner's office determined he choked on his own vomit with a toxic mixture of alcohol and open, uh, opens. I can never say that word. <laughs> uh, including. Uh, Fen Fenitali in his system. Kyan Sags allegedly texted about the pills on the night Sags overdosed. Um, you know that that his family, Tyler Sags' family, got justice, which is awesome. But just unfortunately, he died at 27. Yeah. So. Um. That's sad. But no, good good to Tyler Sags' family again, justice that they deserved, and uh, shame on Eric Kai for even. You know, giving Tyler Sags that kind of stuff. Yeah. That's it. No more baseball. All right. Football time. Okay. Unless you got minuscule stuff for hockey for your hockey minute. I got one. Hit us with it. It's back, bitches. Uh, <laughs> NHL doesn't have uh, doesn't plan on having it for a, a bubble for an entire 2021 season. Um. Certainly for certainly not for next season, of course. Nobody's going to uh, do that for four months or six months or something like that. Whenever we could create some uh, projected environment, uh, project environments that our people would be tested, they'd have to be clean when they come in and uh, lasted for some shorter period of time. With people cycling in and out of things, I expect we will examine. So let's say the NHL did not want to do a bubble. Which I honestly think they should because look what the NBA did. I mean, how many freaking cases, how many positive, uh, negative cases do they have? How many positive or negative? Which one do I have any answer? Negative. I, I forgot what the number was. For the NBA? Yeah. They, they didn't have any positive tests with this bubble, which was awesome. Yeah. So every other test was negative. <laughs> so that's, that's the, I definitely think as much I'm sure fans want to go to a game. Got to wait. Put on your big boy pants and be patient. Yeah, 
I mean, it'll be fun to go to a game because I miss going to games. I miss going out of New Hampshire. You're going out of New Hampshire? I said I miss it. Oh, I was like, where the hell are you going? Toronto. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Moving to Canada. <laughs> I like how you said that. <laughs> Moving to Canada. <laughs> Digital, po- uh, virtual podcasts, virtual meetings. We could do that. Yeah. I have to come to Canada with you because i never been to Canada and I want to go You've so You've never bad. been to Canada? I want to go so, oh, so go bad. If you got any Canada listen, Canada. Canada, Canada listens. Canada. You got any Canada listeners? He's been. I want to go. If anyone from Canada, let us know if you're against him or not. Yeah. Against. Against. <laughs> Seriously, if you got any listen, you can be on the podcast with us. But just don't, like, kill us or anything. Yeah. <laughs> we can't do that virtually. Um, all right. Anyways. Um, more mistreatment claims hit Washington, including Dan Snyder's alleged threat toward cheerleading director. Oh, God. Uh, mo- um, even more sexual harassment and mistreatment allegations have hit the Washington football team months after a report from Washington Post broke the dam in July. Uh, let's see. Did you do... Oh, the latest WAPO report has added yet another few allegations to the pile. I'll effing kill you, even as Snyder claims to be unaware or at least apologetic of the culture below him and his decades of owning the team. These reports paint a different story. Uh, Donald Wells, the director of the Washington Cheerleading Squad from 1997 to 2009, recalled one such instance to the Post in which Snyder allegedly said the following. You better keep them skinny with big tits or I'll fucking kill you. (laughs) I don't mean to laugh. Well said, Snyder told him at a 2004 charity event where the squad performed. Damn, what is he doing? Why would he even think that's be good to say? I mean, you could say make sure they stay in shape throughout the season, not say make sure they have big tits or I'll kill you. And skinny. (laughs) And skinny. Um, it's hardly surprising to see Snyder allegedly have that kind of attitude given what we know about the cheerleader's treatment. The lewd video was particularly troubling given a strict moral code the team reportedly imposed on them that forbade appearances in tasteless videos or dating players. One cheerleader who appeared in the video, Chastity Evans, had one specific term for it. I would have hoped the team, because they held us to high standards, would treat us with respect and uphold the same standards. Instead, they violated our trust with sounds like a soft porn video. Jesus. Yeah, uh, Washington cheerleaders say pay deducted for unsold calendars. Uh, another way the team allegedly showed their cheerleaders just how little value of their work was how it sold some of the calendars, the photo shoots for which are already infamous due to the aforementioned video. Per the post, the team explicitly, speci- ex- explicitly required cheerleaders to sell at least 50 calendars a year. I assume each. Yeah. Uh, though the report notes that this is not an unusual practice in the NFL. If the cheerleaders didn't meet their quota, they reportedly had to pay the team back for the unsold calendars. One cheerleader told the Post she lost hundreds of dollars in unsold calendars out of her paycheck. She was reportedly earning about $1,000 per year from the team. Wow. $1,000 a year? Um, Cheerleaders also complained of being given limited parking spots during games and having to carpool, while Snyder and his inner circle used their practice studio as a parking area before being shuttled to FedEx Field. Um, You aren't even valued enough to park your own car to do your job, said one former cheerleader who, like many of her teammates, spoke on the condition of anonymity for fear of repercussions. We did it because dance was our passion, and this was a rare opportunity as adults to keep dancing and performing. The money wasn't the goal, but looking back on it, it kind of cheapens cheapens the whole thing. Yeah, whole thing. Well, I mean, yeah, if you're not getting paid a lot, it kind of cheapens. That sucks. Yeah, so that's something out of Washington. Enjoy that one, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the misogyny. Dan Schneider. At his best. More like Dan idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Dan idiot. Dan idiot. That's a good one. Well, the Chiefs, my friend, just got better. A little better. Oh, uh, Le'Veon oh. Bell. Okay, never mind. I was going to say Le'Veon better. Le'Veon better. Uh, to a one-year deal. Um, How much does it say? 
Um, the Jets. This is a mine would offer them a two year deal. The Jets offered them a one. I saw it earlier. I think it was one point nine million, which I don't know where they're getting the money from. Uh, they're ass cracks. <laughs> <laughs> they're like Mahomes. Donate us some money. We we gave you half a bill. I think you can cough over two mil. Yeah. That's like what? One percent of what we gave you? Don't make us get the mob. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna join uh Clyde uh Edwards Hilaire. Um so the Chiefs offense looks like this now. Patrick Holmes, Le'Veon Bell. Nuts, nuts. Travis Kelsey, Tyreek Hill, Henry Watkins. Nuts. Clyde Edwards Hilaire. 14 Pro Bowlers. This is a picture on ESPN. 14 Pro Bowlers selection in this graphic. Damn. Who else is in the graphic? Uh, it was just them. Uh, Home, Mahomes, Bell, Kelsey, Hill, Watkins. Gotcha. I kind of feel bad for Edwards uh, Hilaire now. Hilaire. In his fantasy owners, me. Now who's gonna be the lead role? Is it gonna be Bell? Will it be? I Hilaire? guess we'll s- give it a couple weeks. See what happens. Yeah, also, Darrell Williams is the second rusher um, on the team, which he'll probably fall to the third back. But Le'Veon Bell, he's 28 years old. That's old in running back years, but <laughs> that's old in running back years. He still can be dominant. <laughs> Joining that kind of team, yikes! And uh, <laughs> I know one guy who has Bell and Patrick Holmes on this team, and he's in this room right now. Hi. Wearing a yellow shirt. This is orange. Orange shirt. Are you colorblind? It looks yeah. Who's on it? Becky Lynch. It looks yellow to me. <laughs> orange, <laughs> yellow, whatever. Same color. Look at the video. The video makes it look pretty orange. Well, f- fucking orange, okay? It's orange with more orange. <laughs> um, uh, cords are getting tangled up. Um, uh, Packers to work out Aaron Jones's twin brother once he clears COVID nineteen protocol. What the hell's his name? Um, Alvin Jones. I don't know. He had a twin brother. I didn't either. <laughs> um. Uh, Aaron Jones was a sixth-round pick in the 2017 draft. Green Bay is looking to double its winnings <laughs> with Jones's twin brother. The Packers will work out Alvin Jones, who is the twin. They they throw the twin brother in here very often. Um, I'm glad he's going to get this opportunity and get a chance to work out. Jones said, "I know he'll do whatever he needs to, and hopefully he's on a team with me. Uh, I'd love to have that. That'd be a true joy." Does see what position he is? Yep, we're getting there. Uh, while Aaron Jones. Jones. While Aaron Jones was dominating defenses at UTEP, Alvin Jones was one of the best defensive players All in right. school history in the four years he played for the Miners. Jones finished with 343 tackles in four seasons at UTEP, the second oh, wow. most at the program since 2000. His 40 tackles for loss rank third in school history, and 15 sacks are fourth most in school history. Jones signed with the Ravens as an undrafted free agent in 2018, but never played an NFL game. He was placed on injured reserve twice in his first two seasons. The second time, he was waived with an injury settlement. So he did pretty good in college. Yep. So we'll see what happens. And if they do end up signing him, that'll be two teams with twin brothers on this team. Oh, Jason and Devin McCourty. Yep. little fun fact for you guys now. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you knew that. But um, do you remember how when they were on different teams – their mom would wear like a split jersey. Yeah. So tell me how that's gonna how that works with the Patriots jersey since both of their numbers start with three. Does she just pick one? Is like, oh yeah, it's split, and then just give like the little like back and forth the eyes. <sighs> or is this uh, true um, way that she can pick a quote unquote favorite, or does she just like alternate every week? I know what she could do. She could wear. Uh, Jason's number on the back and uh, Devin's number on the back. Both both numbers on the back, John? One on the front, one on the back. You, you said back twice. <laughs> Whatever. You guys know what <laughs> I mean. You but pointed to your front and said back, too. Yeah, you're using your brain. Good job. First time in 27 years. Nope. That's bad. There <laughs> we go. That, that was better. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um... Your bottle's shaking. <laughs> I just say it repeatedly. Um, why Cowboys rookie quarterback Danucci is getting first team snaps? Danucci, Ben Danucci, never heard of him. Was a seventh round pick in the 2020 draft. It's the next Tom Brady. <laughs> uh, and with the season-ending injury to Dak Prescott, he is now one heartbeat 
or one Andy Dalton injury away, <laughs> which is <laughs> from taking snaps as the primary quarterback for the Cowboys. In- indeed, Cowboys coach Mike McCarthy says this week, in a sense, as big and different for Danucci as number two as it is for Dalton as number one. Frankly, I'm not as concerned about Andy Dalton's preparation as much as I am focused on Ben Danucci's. We have to make sure that the number two, that's where the biggest preparation and change is going on. Wow, if that happens, oh my God. Yup. So, and then the rest of our article talks about his college tape, and I don't want to read all this because it, it won't make sense without the video. Yeah. So, we're just going to say he did all right. Good job, Cowboys. Uh, speaking about Cowboys, Deck Prescott breaks silence in the wake of devas- de- devastating ankle injury, which I was watching that game. Oh, uh, I tried oh. to avoid it, and then I saw it on Twitter, and I'm like, yeah. It reminds me of Gordon Hayward. Oh, man, yeah. That, I remember watching that, and then the guy was like, uh, Gordon, ha- Gordon Hayward broke his leg. Gordon Hayward broke his leg. Five minutes into the season. <laughs> Crazy. That Celtics team, man, if that team stayed healthy, just imagine what they could have done that year. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Anyways. Crazy. Maybe we would have eight, would have had 18, maybe yep. 19, 20. I'm just oh, kidding. Man. I was going to have gone that far. <laughs> Uh, if they won three straight, that'd be awesome. Oh, yeah, because that's three straight parades. Yep. Uh, for oh, every maybe. Oh, hi, here's a question for you. Does L.A. have a parade? I saw an article and it said they're going to push it. They're going to wait. Mid-season next year? <laughs> Look at done what the Tampa Bay Lightning did. Is that what they did? No, uh, Lightning did it uh, on boats. Oh. And fans were on docks and stuff. They could do it that way. How are they going to throw beers? I'm sure there's, oh, wait, there's Gronk's not there. It doesn't matter. I'd, I'd eat one. <laughs> You'd eat a beer? I'd eat one. Oh, yeet. I think he said eat. I'm like, are you going to eat a beer? Hey, LeBron! <laughs> drops, the trophy in the, tro- drops the trophy in the water. Yeah. No, it's just like, <laughs> hey, LeBron. You th- you throw the beer, but it goes completely off. I'm like, that's how far away you are from Michael Jordan. <laughs> 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 I'm just messing with the LeBron. It's just fun. But Jordan's number one. Uh, the d- can't deny that. The two-time Pro Bowler was carted off in the ambulance and transported to a hospital for surgery, putting him four to six months recovery that's expected to see him return in April or early May. Um, he said, forever thankful for all the love and support I've received. Prescott said via Instagram, I'll come back stronger and better. Thank you all. Which, man, that just injury, man. Oh. Yeah, I hope he can, he's good for next year. The thing about it, too, he was so calm. He just sat there and just held it when other players would be crying, screaming on the. He just. I would be out of breath due to crying so much from that, because one, I have never sprained anything. Two, I have never fractured anything. Three, I have never broken anything. So. You can say, that I, William Kliski. Am. Or have stronger bones than Dak Prescott. So, Dallas, if you want a reliable person at the head of your team, I might only be five foot eight, five foot nine on a good day, hundred forty pounds, but look I've at never Drew, broken anything. Like a Drew Brees, five foot ten. Hey everyone, just want everyone to know that I'm doing well. I can't thank you enough for all your, your love, your support, your prayers um, over the last few days. They've been more than overwhelming um, for, from, from teammates to family to friends uh, to fans I don't know to former and current players around the league and players around um, all sports. I uh, just wanted to say thank you. Uh, they're definitely appreciated and received well. So um, just knowing that I have that much love and support out there makes a huge difference um, and great spirits. Headed to see the doctor, headed to see my leg for the first time post-surgery. Uh, so just ready to start this road to come back. Uh, I know this is this little adversity is just going to be another uh, another chapter in the book. Uh, and I'm excited to move forward and write it. Um, just once again, can't thank you all enough for, for your love and your support through it all. But I'm in great spirits. I'm going to stay that way. I'm looking forward to, to this football season, seeing the game in a different perspective, um, and support my teammates and, and those around the league that need it. Um, and just and just excited, excited for, for God's purpose and God's plan. I know it's bigger than anything that I see 
um, or that could have imagined. But uh, I'm trusting him. My faith is doubled down more than ever. Uh, and I'm thankful that. that he All right, I'm done. <laughs> so did they take his leg or something? Yes, I, first <laughs> I'm going to see my leg. I'm like, look down. Yeah, right. That's what. That's what. That's why I made that face because I'm like, did they take? Yeah, his I saw. Leg I saw. I made that face. I was like, yeah, I was like, why is he I doing I that? <laughs> I'm gonna see my leg for the first time since surgery. I'm like, yeah. Where do they go? take it off? I was watching. Um, it reminded me of this. It was like uh, I watched iCarly. Yeah. Again, and it was Sam went to the dentist and she was on the happy gas, and she was holding her hand like this and she thought it, she lost her thumb. Oh, and she should go like that. No, and then Carly's just like, it's back. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he's going to be like. No, and it's not on the <laughs> laugh. He's on the, the gas. Yeah, he's on the laughing gas. He's on the happy gas. What if he take my leg? <laughs> <laughs> Where's my leg? Uh, Melvin Gordon charged with a DUI. Expected to um, be, probably will be suspended, obviously. Probably, yeah. You know, uh, some guy I work with made a great point. Why do these athletes do stuff like this? They get drunk, and they decide to drive home. You have all the money in the friggin' world. Yeah. Call an Uber. Yes. Easy. Solutions. And there's certain Ubers for the, the people who make more money than certain people. I forget, it's, I forget what it's called, but if you don't trust a random person picking you up, like Will or I... It's a richer Uber for people that you can trust. Because if I start Melvin Gordon, I'd be like, hey, you're going to score me like 30 points this week in fantasy? Because he's on my fantasy team. It's like, hey, this DUI couldn't have come at a better time. Want to know why? You're playing the Patriots. No, I'm pretending I'm I'm the person talking to oh. Melvin Gordon. Like, this couldn't have come at a better time. You want to know why? Why? Because you're on my opponent's team. Going to oh. jail, buddy. <laughs> but I mean, just I just don't get why these athletes do this. You make all the money in the world. Yeah, call the idiots. Call rent a limo for all we care about. You got the money. Call a friend. Be like, hey, uh, uh, you uh, you uh, picked uh, up uh, uh, twenty thousand shots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on, I Melvin don't know what Gordon. it's like to be drunk. Me either. Or high. Come on, Melvin Gordon. Eagles will allow a number of fans on Lincoln Financial Field, but How guess many is what? The number? Seven thousand five hundred. But guess what? It won't matter because they're going to get clapped this weekend. Why is that, John? They're playing the Ravens. Yep. Under the guidelines set forth by NFL and the public health experts with the approval of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and the city of Philadelphia, the Eagles will have finalized a plan to w- that will lead to a limited capacity of returning fans to Lincoln Financial Field starting this Sunday. Fun, fun. Not for the Eagles because they're yep. going to get their ass kicked. Yep. But at least the Eagles fans can watch them in person. Get their asses clapped. <laughs> <laughs> you know what time it is, Will? It is time for the weekly picks. So, last week, with the exception of Patriots Broncos, because that game didn't play. So there were 14 games. John and I both went 10 and 4. Again. Tied again. Again, we tied. Even with differing picks. Move you out of the way, big boy computer. <laughs> so, the current scores after five weeks. I have, I am 52 Ooh. and 25. I really like number 5 and 2, apparently. Um, <laughs> and John is 54 and 23. Was it the third week in a row you're two Ye- games ahead? Yep. Something like that. So, John. We're going to start off with a banger. Ready? Texans, Titans. Ooh, Texas Titans. Um, oof. Ryan Tannehill. Uh, and Titan, Ryan, uh, with uh, Ryan Tannehill starting at quarterback for the Titans are 11-3. Uh, have an average uh, of 30.4 points per game. Um, Texans are not good this year. They've been awful all season. The way Ryan Tannehill has been playing with the Titans, I you got to go with the Titans in this one. Yep. Titans. I was miscounted for a second. I got confused. It's okay. For a second, I thought I only worked on 14 games. I'm like, what? <laughs> um, 
Yeah, the Texans haven't been doing so hot this year. No. And the Titans. Which are is surprising. Yeah. Because they traded. Well, I wonder why. Because they traded fucking DeAndre Hopkins. Yeah. So I'm going with the Titans as well. Um, John, should I just put you down for you being against your team this week? Or are you sticking with the uh, I won't bet against my team? Well, the Eagles have ruled those seven players for Sunday. <laughs> Safety, Marcus Epps, ribs, Lean Johnson, ankle, right guard, Matt Pryor, uh, illness, left uh, uh, linebacker, Duke Riley, rib, Deshaun Jackson, waist. I didn't even know why I even brought him back in the first place, hamstring. Alstron <laughs> Jeffrey, who you should freaking cut, who, who oh, I'm going to punch my computer. Alstron <laughs> Jeffrey, and uh, quarterback, Avante Maddox. So is that a safe pick for the Ravens? I'm going to play a little thing for the Eagles for tomorrow. Let's hear it. So the Ravens. Yeah. This is the Eagles funeral for tomorrow. If you guys know this, you're awesome. Whoa. Ravens. 49. Eagles, 10. Just, I mean, the, the whole offensive line for the Eagles is out. The whole offensive line? I mean, not, most offensive line is out. I mean, Carson Wentz has no one to throw to. The defense is garbage, except nope. their front seven. Yep. Lamar Jackson's going to eat that ass of the line, <laughs> I wasn't even watching you. I was watching the recording. So now I know what it's going <laughs> to look like on video. <laughs> I don't need to do that. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, here's a difficult one, I think. Not because both teams are good. <laughs> but both teams are pretty trash this year. Falcons? Vikings? Do we finally pick the Falcons? Nope. Give nope. Me oh, man. You know what? That's actually tough. I mean, you picked the Falcons last time and they lost... Give me the Vikings because I'm yeah. sick and tired of going with the Falcons. Kevin Ridley's going to freaking eat that. You, you were about to go with the same line again, weren't you? No, the, uh, Kevin Ridley will do good, especially if Julio Jones comes back. I'm just sick and tired of picking the F Falcons. Yeah, I picked the Vikings as well because I don't pick the Falcons anymore. Did I pick the Vikings or Falcons? <laughs> you said Vikings. I didn't mean to. Yeah, I, just, I, I don't know why. Because Kevin Ridley's on my team. No. Give me, the, give me the Vikings. I'm sick and tired of picking the Falcons. Okay. Uh, Browns, Steelers. 4-0 versus 4-1. This could lead the division. Yeah. Uh, guess what? I'll go first. Browns. You want the Browns? Yes, sir. I'll go with the Steelers. Ooh. Uh, Bengals, Colts. <sighs> Bengals, Colts. Um, yes. That's the game. Colts defense is actually playing pretty good. Um. Joe Burrow's going to have a tough time. Very tough time. Um, they get pressure on him. I'm, I'm going to sure go with the Colts. Yeah, you, me too. Brad, I hope you're happy. And now they're going to lose because we picked them. Uh, Lions, Jaguars. Wow. Well, who'd even want to watch this game? People who like saying wow. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. That was bad. I'll go with the Lions. Lions? Eh, because you did that. I'll give Bobby's boy, Gardner Minshew, a pick for the first time probably this year. <laughs> Going with the Jags. Bears, Panthers. Because I, for some reason, don't pick them a lot. For whatever reason, they're doing phenomenal. I'm picking the Bears. You're picking the Bears? Yes, sir. Um... Give me the Panthers. Okay. Um, so this is how I'm going to ask it, and this is how we're going to pick it, okay? Um, it, we're going to have – we're going to – this is a little thing. We're not going to actually do a pick for this one. I'm going to give you an option. I have the team's assigned numbers in my head, mm -hmm. okay? You're going to pick one. You get that one. I get the other one. Deal? Deal. Okay, so do you want trash one or trash two? Trash, too. All right. You got the Giants. And Who are they the playing? The football team. All right. <laughs> are you cool with that? Yeah, screw it. Whatever. It, no, 
Yeah. Is that who you want to pick, though? Yeah. All right. I'll stick with the football team and be different. <laughs> but, yeah, trash versus trash. Nothing else really needs to be said about no. that. No. Go football team. Only time I'll ever root for them. I'm going to keep my pick from last week for the game that was postponed between the Patriots and the Broncos. So you we're give going it Patriots. Yeah, I want the Patriots. Uh, Kim Newton's back. Um I just can't see the Patriots losing this game. They're, yep. they're so well rested. Yeah. Um, this one should be easy. I and Melvin Gordon's going to be out too. So. Yeah. Uh, Jets, Dolphins. Oh my I'm God. I'm going to pick the Dolphins just because they absolutely murdered the 49ers last week. Me too. Dolphins. I mean, the Jets. Dolphins. Ryan Fitzpatrick is going to eat uh, kill that defense. Yeah. Packers, Bucks. Oh, wow, this is a tough one. Tom Brady versus Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. Um, Bucks A.A. Are, Ron Rodgers. Bucks are coming off a tough loss last week to the Bears. Um, this is tough. Yep. Packers. I'm going to the Packers. Pack is. I'm going with Packers as well. Brady's going to lose to both Rodgers and Breeze this season. TB12, more like TB Dud. <laughs> I can say that now that he's not on my team. Yep. Um, Rams 49ers. Oh, man. The 49ers' uh, offensive line is struggling. They got to obviously try to stop Aaron Donald. Good luck with that. Yep. Um, Rams quarterback Jared Goff has a 70% completion rate. That's pretty solid. Yep. Um, I'm going to go with the Rams. Ooh. Because you did that, I'm going to go with the 49ers because they got embarrassed by the Dolphins last week. Yep. So I just don't think they're going to do it again. No. Probably think, not. But I think Kittle might have a good game. Yep. Helmet reference. Uh, Chiefs, Bills. The, ch- the Bills got exposed on Tuesday, which is so weird <laughs> to say. Yeah, against the Titans. Uh, Patrick Mahomes will be. You wonder why they didn't want the Titans to play. Um, Patrick Mahomes, uh, be, oh my God, um, beginning his 2018 MVP season by completing 64% of his passes. Um, I, I gotta go with the Chiefs. I just, I can't, s- with Le'Veon Bell, who's probably gonna play, you know, you gotta stop that offense. Good luck. Good yeah, luck, Bills. I can't disagree. And we got the awful Monday Night Football game, Cardinals-Cowboys. <sighs> Cardinals. Cardinals? I'll go Cardinals as well. Because they don't have Dak in Dallas right now. Um, so I feel like we have more picks different than normal. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five. There five different five wow. games that are different. Do I know what that means? You could be in the lead. I was just gonna say it won't be a two point game going into next week, baby. Nope. Either you could go up by seven. I could go up by three or anywhere in the middle. Yep. Alternating. This could be close. Alternating odd numbers, of course. Yes. Yeah. But, whew, that's going to be good. So, John, that is the weekly picks. Set and paper. I was going to That s- was my uh, computer set charger. Set and ink. So, John. Yes. Where can they find you on the you social media? You can follow medias? me on my Instagram at John O'Halloran15. You can follow my Twitter at Nabar John, Nabar Halloran. Will, where they can find you? You can find me on both Twitter and Instagram at William Kliske. You can follow the show on both Twitter and Instagram at TTL Pod. Please rate, review, and subscribe on your preferred listening platform, whether it's Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Anchor, etc. Do it. Share with friends and family co workers, please. And we will see you in the next episode. Bye.